Hi, everyone. We are Exposure Athletics. On our team, we have myself, Brighton Mon. My name's Yang Du. And I'm Mike Olson. The problem of exposure athletics is addressing is for high school athletes is that not all high school athletes that want to play sports in college give themselves the best ability to do so. The problem exposure athletics is addressing for college coaches is that many college coaches have trouble finding new talent and recruiting new players. The solution to these problems is exposure athletics. Exposure athletics is solving these problems for high school athletes and college coaches by providing a mobile app that provides a centralized place for athletes and coaches to communicate. Our app gives athletes a better, a better chance of being recruited with features allowing users to post videos of their training, highlights from their games, and being able to post other information about themselves, such as their athletic goals or their GPA. So our value, our value proposition um, is that we are providing value to high school athletes by giving them a platform to show off their athletic resume to give themselves a better chance of being recruited by college coaches. While we are providing value to college coaches by giving them a platform to recruit athletes that they may have never heard of before. So for our competition, the main competition for exposure athletics comes from a mobile app called Huddle. Huddle is designed to help players and coaches study games to optimize their performance in the future. It also can help coaches gather statistics for each game their team plays, such as tracking how many turnovers or points a specific player on their team averages per game. What makes Exposure Athletics unique and different from Huddle is that we're focused on getting high school athletes recruited based on their film and athletic resume, instead of providing a tool for athletes to study film as a team or an app designed for an entire team instead of for individuals. Exposure Athletics has few competitors, but will look to stand out amongst the crowd as a free mobile app trying to revolutionize how high school athletes get recruited to play sports by giving everyone an equal opportunity to expose their athletics. I'll also note that there are some things that we fixed from our original visual narrative. On our first draft for our visual narrative, we did not include a clear description of our customer segmentation or, and we also did not include who are targeting specifically. We fixed this in our final draft of our visual narrative by creating an artboard that vividly outlined how we're segmenting our customer. This is by, we're segmenting our customers by an athlete's gender, the sport the athlete plays and the athlete's ultimate goals in sports. We also scored lower on our conventions on our first draft. So on our final draft, we cleaned up some of our spelling, grammar, and organizational errors. And here is our revised prototype. And for at the first, we have the login and sign-in page for our users. And after that, users could choose if they are a high school student or a college coach and build their own profile. Next page. After logging to our app, we basically have four features for now. And the first one is for users, especially for high school athletes to upload their amazing sports videos. And by uploading this, you could share with everyone who use this app. And the next thing is uh, find a available coach for you. And if users uh, do have their own preference, they could send a direct message to the coaches or the coaches could also send a message to uh, the high school athletes. And the next one is join a community. So we basically have communities categorized by kinds of sports and users could chat with each other, share experience with each other within the community. And that's, the main point, how we make our users keep engaged. And the next and the final is explore more. In this feature, we are going to have a short video uh, kind of thing to make our uh, users able to see other amazing sports videos. And that's the other cr critical point for us to uh, make our users stay engaged. 
Now for our launch campaign. <clears throat> our launch campaign strategy was a fairly simple plan, and we chose to focus on saving time using our app to get into closer contact with collegiate coaches. We also wanted to take more of a cognitive approach to our launch campaign as our users are driven by heart to use this app and hopefully make it to the next step of playing collegiate sports. This app also requires high involvement with the user, and that is something that will allow us to keep our users using our application. Our campaign goals we decided on, our, our, on first are how many people read our project page on our site and do they fill out the survey attached? Secondly, we decided to focus on if people read and engage with our blog posts. This is an important goal as we need to see if people care about our updates and are excited to use our new and improved app with each iteration. Now for our website, we decided to push our most important pages such as our prototype page as well as our blog page as the prototype allows potential users to interact and see the interface they might be using and the blog page allows the user to see our updates and how our company is doing and what they should expect going forward. Now for social media marketing campaign, we decided to choose Instagram and Twitter as they respectively have a large amount of users and a great market for us to try and tap into and gain a good following. If we could successfully reach these markets, we will allow ourselves to gain a good following and hopefully be able to interact with these users and change them from social media users to exposure athletics users. Now, here are some examples of our social media posts. We wanted to create six different mock posts to reflect the type of content we would be sharing and posted it to its own page on our Weebly site. We wanted to create these to show how our posts would change with the different target customers we are trying to target. For example, if we wanted to target potential new users, we would post a post with potential possibilities and attach our prototype link to our website so they can check it out for themselves. And on the other side, if we wanted to keep current users hopeful and excited, we would post an inspiring post about new updates and include the link to our blog page. And here comes to our customer engagement. The first thing is our pricing strategy. We think the subscription and advertising strategy best fit our mobile app because our app is designed for power users which are looking for a coach for their sports career. And we want this app to be free with an easy access to, the, to those high school students. Our monetization option is to add advertisements in our app, but with a subscription, users can eliminate those ads. And for changes to our app, uh, we are making our users, for making our users stay engaged, we have built a community based on different kinds of sports and have a short video feature. So our users could chat within their community and make new friends. They also could look some uh, amazing sports videos uploaded by others or choose to upload their own amazing sports videos. We would, use, we would also use social connections in our app. We do have a community categorized by sports kinds, and they are for users to chat. Within our app, users could share their successful experience with others. They can also chat and make groups with each other. This feature we will give us, give our users more reason to spend time on on the app, as well as create more engagement for us. Next slide, please. We will post an online survey and send it to each user so we can make changes based on their feedback and also update new features based on their needs and keep them feel fresh and surprised by our app. So uh, about changes to our digital channels. We, are, we will add a customer review board so users could share their experiences with each other. It says that users could also post a question or reply to other, others' questions. By doing that, we could maximize the result of educating customers on the benefits, features, and pricing for our app. We also are planning on building a fund 
by using part of our net revenue and use this fund to help students who have a dream to become a professional athlete. This content could help us to build a sense of community and gather people around to our app. And finally, we are going to post ads on other social media such as uh, Google or Twitter. And we are also going to allow users to log in with their uh, social media account. By doing that, we could have an easier access for new users and connect our app with their social media account to make them stay engaged as well as help us to build a bigger community. <clears throat> now for a conclusion, we have created a great company an application that fills the needs for many high school athletes. We created Exposure Athletics to allow the average high school athlete to gain exposure from coaches and allow the opportunity to potentially connect with coaches and make that jump to college sports. We stand by our, our value proposition with it being to change lives of high school athletes and giving them an amazing opportunity and hopefully continue their careers. It also stems from giving college coaches the opportunity to find hidden talents and give their team a boost that they may need. Our product changes the lives of those who may use it as it changes their college career over the next years of their lives. As they change from a high school student athlete with no prospects to a high school athlete that may be able to play at the college level, thanks to our app. Thank you so much for your time. From all of us at Exposure Athletics, happy holidays and have an amazing break. Thank you. Thank you.